Okay, round four against uh, Valky. So the board uh, at the end of uh, round three, uh, it's still it's looking okay. Uh, it's not obviously totally comfortable on e either side of the uh, the fight here on the German or the Japanese side. It's a bit bit messy to say the least. Uh, here's round three purchase. Uh, sorry for the US. Uh, two infantry, two artillery, so he's gone for transports on the Atlantic side and he's got the carrier for the Pacific side just reinforcing uh, his fleet over here. We did actually lose the, uh, quite badly actually lost the, the fleet in 59 um, he only lost one Australian one fighter for that <clears throat> but I think I should be able to kill his battleship uh, with just one destroyer probably fighter bomber then stack 48, take back Philippines, and then maybe think about going back to 61 or something. Uh, I don't really want to see a transport here from the UK, but I don't think they can get away with it just yet. I'm going to have a decent little fleet there. Yeah, here's buying some fleets. So I might need to reinforce, <clears throat> might need to buy some more fleet possibly. Just to make sure we don't get, you know, completely uh, out of position to. If the pressure continues, I want to make sure we, we, we keep on top of the fleet because I don't want to be really confined to 61 I, want to, I do want to start expanding if possible I can't really define what this game is just yet it, even by round 4 <laughs> like I, I don't know it's it's a very much a two ocean thing here and normally that would I would think generally speaking it favours the Axis uh, at least in my experience because you're not putting all your resources into into one area I mean pressuring with the initial fleet makes a lot of sense uh, for the US in the Pacific if you're going to go for Germany, but putting more stuff into the Pacific is going to be yeah, a bit risky. Uh, I would also love to block off <laughs> Western Canada. I think yeah, he may come back with the UK tank here possibly, but we might get lucky if he doesn't take it. We'll see. Anyway, anyway, so try and wipe up, uh, mop up the rest of these ships if we can on the Japanese turn. But for Russia, uh, also very surprised to see him not try and take Caucasus. Uh, so we got that for free. I will, I will build there as well actually, so I'm going to drop 4 infantry there. Um, purchase obviously just the same kind of thing. 502 artillery and no, uh, no attacks at all, which is good, so we're keeping the territory. That's reassuring, seeing him not attack anything, is, is um, I like that. So I'm going to keep pushing forward, I'll take uh, the Logda I think, and just try and slowly move forward here. The economy is looking okay for now. Actually, it's looking quite good, but I just got to, I've got to recapture all these, obviously. So, assuming they go well, the German economy will be looking quite healthy. So, I think just yeah, continuing to stabilise and set up a nice stack in Caucasus is going to be good. I think, as I said, but I think the last round or the round before, it's still nice, and I've got five planes, which is huge. I've still got five tanks as well, so I've not lost all my attacking power. I was expecting to lose these actually when I went for. The Caucasus attack, but having them alive is, is fantastic, so yeah, pretty good. Uh, so 10 and 4, quite heavy on the artillery, but I think I'm going to need them to tr trade efficiently on this side. I want to just get into a bit of a more comfortable position. I might pull some guys back, possibly. We'll see. But, okay, first thing first is kill these transports, which is nice. Do a bit of blitzing, line grabbing. Uh, 1, 2, 3, definitely. Read this. Having just infantry in Berlin is a little bit awkward because I've got to go a bit heavier than I would like to, I think. Yeah, I think we're probably going to lose one of these trades. I can't afford to lose France. I'm going to go. That should be fine, you'd hope. <laughs> you'd hope. Uh, let's go. Let's do that. Yeah. I expect strong across the board, Northwesterns. Questionable. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's try that. I really want all these trades to go well because it'll bump our income back up nice for next round. Hopefully, we have the tank alive in uh, Sudan so we can blitz down to South Africa and get a bit of income. <clears throat> That'll be ideal. Okay, cool. Big rolls. That's a shit start. Come on. God. God. Don't screw me on flan French, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's the big relief. Actually, the rest is, is fine. I don't mind the rest of it now. <laughs> as long as France falls, that's the key thing. That's such a big territory to not control for a round. 
Okay. Good on Northwestern, looks like. I would like three infantry left over here if possible. Good. Quality. Don't mess around. Nice. Good, 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 good. Whoa, big hits, big hits. That's awesome. Only losing one infantry attack and that's fantastic. Sudan. I'm going to push on. Okay, cool. So the US tank might blitz through and kill me. No, it's a 50-50, obviously, but we may get lucky. If I do get lucky, then I can grab through IPC next round. So that'll be cool. But very nice trades there. I'm really happy with that. Okay, everything goes into Caucasus. Uh, could I make it awkward for Russia here? Maybe. Do I block Archangel? Screw it, why not? Um, I'm not actually, you know, probably might cancel this actually. It's essentially, it's six units versus six, but uh, I'll tell you what, let's just play a bit safer. Let's do seven. Be cheeky. Okay, so 16 units versus 16, <clears throat> but a far worse 16. Uh, and. I probably have to count. Oh no, it's fine. I was thinking I had to calculate corks actually, but I'm, I'm deploying four in there, so that's fine. It's not an issue. Uh, so, two hundred three, three, four, five, six, six more. Let's send it. Uh, I'll do. Let's do one, two, three, so we can trade one, two, three. Should we need to maybe? And put an artillery over here. That's quite good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, welcome to Japan 4. So, I had a bit of a study of the board before, uh, thinking of my buy and the play for the rest of the game. Uh, I wanted to have a bit of a yeah an analysis of how it's going so far. I think actually we're really in better shape than I thought we were, uh, just looking at the board as it is now. Um, Moscow is extremely vulnerable. I just realised that how bad it is, uh, because we have like 27... Technically, twenty nine infantry. They might, they might get traded, but yeah, basically twenty seven good infantry that are going to be in range of Moscow uh, for Germany six. Uh, I've got three artillery which I can um, bolster by buying four and dropping them into the corpses, and then we've got five tanks, five planes. I don't see a way for uh, Valky to hold Moscow at this point. Um, <laughs> there's just so few our planes. Obviously, Russia's lost its air force. I've got one. US fighter here. He's decided to fly his one UK fighter from India over to Philippines to try and hold. But this this entire move is very... It, it's so difficult for him to hold this position. So I'm going to try and wipe the fleet in 48 and also cap the Philippines. So that's another fighter off the board for <clears throat> the the Allies. And that's, it's, it's, it couldn't reach Moscow anyway. It's, it's too late. Um, yeah, these four as well, they can't reach Moscow by... Uh, Germany 6, they have to move next round and there's no way for them to get to Moscow so I think actually by Germany 6 this game may be in hand um, we could probably go for I suppose the VC snipe is on if we can hold these 4 I guess so I guess it's going to be 4 artillery and then the rest is going to be pretty much Kuali might be tricky but it depends on how, how hard he comes with his transports I'm sure we can make something work but yeah it's looking really bad for the Allies right now which is a uh, Good for me, obviously. A bit awkward here for a second. I'm gonna. This this should be the last round of uh, um, difficulty from the naval side, at least. Once this round's over, hopefully, uh, we'll have enough of a fleet to just to completely back these guys back. Um, he's also made a move into Burma with his UK troops, uh, which I kind of like actually in hindsight. Not in hindsight, but <laughs> after I looked at the board, because actually he needs these tanks. Um, going for Moscow if they can, if there's somewhere th to get through, I don't know, it's just, yeah, it's just really tricky. So I think we're going to buy a bit more fleet, just to make sure we se secure all our sea zones, not kill our transports off. Uh, I'm going to buy a few more infantry, nothing too crazy, and a few, uh, and a carrier just to put some planes on. I'm going to try and wipe 48 and take Philippines. Um, I'm going to have to ignore this for now. I could, I could probably capture this, uh, but it would mean my transports are out of position for next round. Uh, I think we just we just take Philippines, let them come in a little bit, 
I don't mind giving them some ground. Because if we're taking Moscow anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be the game's going to be over pretty soon anyway. So I think just concede some ground to the UK troops here for now, and just deal with the more pressing issue, which is this. Uh, but anyway, yeah, happy with the buy. Just secure the sea zones, and we can think about tra transporting stuff over uh, next round. So let's go with that. Uh, I guess we could do well to as well. Why not? Cool, let's go for it. So, let's grab the last uh, scraps of Russian income. If we we're going to be really annoying, we could also, like, I think I might do that, actually, just to be a real pain. Let's put, uh, let's put this tank in Novo. Put the infantry into Kazakh. Just have something bordering wherever we can, just to make, because I've, Trading as Russia now is just so annoying to do because you've got no air support at all, so you have to commit troops to do it. And when he's already struggling <laughs> for numbers, numbers are really bad actually. So any kind of trade here is going to hurt him. So I'll probably just push forward here if I can. Uh, right, let's do it. So battleship carrier. Uh, use the two in the fight for the Philippines. Every other plane can reach the sea zone. We're going to skip the battleship for now, it's not a priority. Getting the Philippines back is, so let's do that now. One, two. So I've got great odds for Philippines, should be fine. I'm even willing to sacrifice to get that back, I think, to be honest. Uh, sea zone should be fine, seven versus three, it's not a problem. And we've got a destroyer, we're going to have a fleet in 60 that's going to be, should be able to hold. It's only two attackers from the US. Um, and that'll keep our transports, remaining transports safe in 62, I think. I can't see any other allied planes nearby. One, two, three, just not in range. So I think it should probably do it. I'll just bring the, the remaining troops we've got, I'll, just, I'll move them down towards Burma because we've got to probably just cut this off eventually. So, yeah. In the north, there's no more jobs for them to do, really, because Moscow's going to be uh, falling imminently, I would hope. So I think that should do us for this round. Could go heavier on the Philippines if I wanted to, but uh, no, we'll just stick. Go for that one now. Happy with that. Strong, implausible, really. That's implausible. Why? Doesn't seem that crazy. Two, 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 one. So it gives, wow, that, that is wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to that. It's like 90% to conquer, and then like 98% to win the, win the actual fight. That's very weird. Oh, I want to wipe them in the first round. Nice. Good. <clears throat> I actually had two spare hits to go. I could have taken the battleship, and then I would have taken the bomber as a casualty as well to make sure we've got the full, the full defensive fleet up. So that's really good. Perfect. So Philippines. If I actually lose this fight, I'll be... Annoying. <laughs> okay, I think we're fine. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good value there. So let's just drop you into Kazakh. Go here. Um, I think actually we're safe to just hold the phone for a second. Let's do this. Um, here. We can actually safely ship the 62, uh, 61, sorry, because this battleship can't get through 60. Uh, there are no planes in range of 61. This is one, two, three. Three, so I'm not go there either. So actually, we might as well ship a bit closer. We can go maybe here. Just have something. Yeah, they can't get far. They can, I'm willing to sacrifice Malaya and Thailand. A tank can blitz down there. That's fine. Because we'll be pushing hard against this in a second, so we'll, we'll get that back eventually. <clears throat> we can even go through with these transports and just capture that as well. So it's not a problem. Uh, let's get this last guy moving. Okay. Oh, they capped uh, Alaska as well, which was expected, but a bit of a shame. Okay, I think we're, we're good to go. 
this is safe, this is safe, this is good odds, so I'm not concerned. I kind of hope he takes that fight actually because I've got no transports here, so this is just like, you know, spare units for me really, and it would get rid of all the remaining stuff here pretty much. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Let's send it. Cool. So, at the end of uh, Japan 4, uh, 1, 2, 2, 1, 4, 9 for attack power, which is not, not terrible. I think the position is, is stronger than this indicates, obviously. It's not always the, the full story when you look at the attack power situation, but uh, national production is pretty big. And having the Russians on <laughs> producing 8 currently, which is just Moscow, is, is pretty good. So, next round they're going to be uh, hopefully equally as poor as they are now. But okay, looking good. I think we're just going to wrap this game up. Hopefully we can uh, yeah, get odds on Moscow for Germany 6 and uh, close this one down fairly quickly. But anyway, there we go. I'll see you back for round 5.